everyone so i recently posted a video of my different income streams as a content creator and i mentioned i could make a whole separate video just on my youtube monetization journey so here we are today <laughs> when i was first starting out i was looking for videos similar to this but i couldn't find any from like smaller creators so hopefully this video will reach small creators out there so that they can have a better understanding like if you don't just randomly blow up what your youtube monetization journey could look like so i think what i'll do first is walk you through my timeline and then i'll talk a little bit about what i learned and some tips like if i was starting my channel all over again what would i do differently so we'll talk all about that I posted my first video December 2nd, December 2nd, 2021, which feels like a lifetime ago. <laughs> I had actually made that video and shared it with my family before that, but I didn't make it public until December 2nd. I always tell people the first video you post is the hardest one. That's the one where you really have to fight against all your perfectionism, all your insecurities, and just do it. So my best advice is just make it and post it. It's not gonna be good. It's maybe gonna be cringy. Your editing is going to suck. Like that's okay. It's it's just to get it out there and to just do it that is honestly the biggest hurdle is just getting started so many people myself included talk about making a youtube channel and doing this and that and then we just never do it and so i always say the hardest step is just the first video so if you get the first video out everything after that will be a breeze <laughs> so yeah who cares if it sucks who cares what people will think about it who cares what you will think about it because i know that you'll look back on it later and be like Ooh. it doesn't matter just do it <laughs> you'll only improve from there so for the first couple months after i posted my first video Video, I was posting kind of random content so I had always wanted to start a YouTube channel and make videos I love editing videos and I just didn't know what I wanted to make a channel about I just knew that I wanted to make videos so since we had just moved to our apartment I was really just making videos documenting our life mostly for our family and friends so they could see like what we were up to and all of that and for us to look back on in the future and be like wow you know we've come a long way which we do all the time <laughs> so in January a month later I had my first video that kind of like blew up it didn't really like go viral or anything but at that point i think i was getting maybe like 50 views per video which again like mostly family and friends but that video got i think like 3,000 views so for me it was viral it would like blew up and if you're curious it was my winter capsule wardrobe video so i'll link it up there so even with that video doing really well it did take me a really long time to gain subscribers i didn't hit 100 subs until february 10th so basically like two months after I started posting. And then in April is when I really felt like my content had shifted and I had kind of like found my groove. So again, all the videos I was posting up to that point were kind of random, just me like making day in the life videos and just random stuff. And what I realized was that anytime I talked about thrifting in my videos, it tended to do better than other videos. So I started to focus more on that and kind of carve like a little niche out for myself. And we'll talk about niching in just a moment. But <laughs> at that point is when I started to gain followers more consistently. I also started posting more frequently on Instagram, which I'll also mention like how that plays with YouTube. But yeah, at that point I was gaining about 100 subs per month, which is not a whole lot, but it adds up. And then I finally got monetized in September. So a little over 10 months after I posted my first video, which I think is really fast. Like I thought it was going to take forever and I'm sure for a lot of you that might be the case. So I was really, really lucky, but it still took a while. It's not like I posted one video and I got monetized. Like At that point I had made almost a 100 videos i think by the time i did get monetized so i had made a lot of videos so now let's talk about the monetization process. YouTube did recently introduce a new like shorts program monetization pathway. So I really don't have much to say about it because that's not the pathway that I took. But at least from what I've seen, it seems like you need a lot of views on your shorts in order to meet the monetization program. So I still think that it's faster the original route. And with the original route, you need 4,000 watch hours and 1,000 subscribers. 4,000 watch hours is crazy. It is so much time. So my best advice for you in that, and it's definitely a mistake that I made, is I was making my videos too short. So I think probably 10 minutes is a good place to start. It's long enough that you can rack up watch time faster, but it's not too long that people might not want to click, if, especially if they don't know who you are. So I would say like 10 minutes is a good amount of time for your videos. But yeah, I definitely made that mistake because I was posting videos that were like five minutes long. Most people don't watch a video all the way through, right? So if you're posting a video that's five minutes and the person watches maybe like one minute and that gets bored, 
bored, it takes you forever to rack up the watch time. But if you have a video that's 10 minutes and a person like gets halfway through, maybe just watches five minutes, that's five minutes versus one minute. So even if they don't watch the whole thing, they're likely to watch more of it, which is more time. So that's just my best advice would be like a 10 minute video or something around there so that you can rack up the watch time faster. The other thing that you want to get ready ahead of time is a Google AdSense account. So I thankfully already had one because I had a website and I was running Google ads on there. But you do need a Google AdSense account in order to receive payment from YouTube monetization. So you can create that separately before you're even able to apply for monetization. And I definitely recommend that you do that because once you apply, they basically send you like a code through the mail. So you have to wait for that to get there for you to confirm that it's really you and you live there <laughs> so that you can set up the Google account. So imagine Imagine if you got monetized, you didn't know, and then you start that process. It could take a week or two before you even set up the account and all that time you could have already been monetized. So that's something that you definitely want to do ahead of time so that by the time that you are able to apply for monetization, you can basically get started as soon as you're able to instead of having to wait to go through that process and setting up even the account. So now let's talk about a couple of things that I learned and a couple of things that I wish I had known getting into this. So first and foremost, the biggest question that everybody always has and everybody always talks about to niche or not to niche <laughs> and niche niche whatever however you want to say it i say niche so i hear this recommendation all the time in all the videos of like how to get started on youtube or how to get started on instagram or social media in general blah 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 it's always like oh you have to niche down i agree and disagree with that idea so i think when you first start making content especially on youtube if you're just creating content but you don't know what type of content you want to make yet it doesn't really make sense for you to niche down because you don't have a niche to begin with right so i think at that point exploration is more important so kind of like what i did just making videos and then seeing patterns and seeing what works and what sticks now people say that niching is important because it helps the algorithm determine who to show your videos to if you're someone like me for example that i'm always posting about thrifting it'll know to show someone that watches thrifting videos my video so that's why you would want to niche but i also think that if you niche down too much it's a hindrance to you because then for example i started posting a lot about thrifting and i started to do really well but eventually I've kind of shifted my content and I'm not going thrifting all the time because your girl is trying to save money And if I keep going to the thrift store, even if it's cheaper I'm still spending and spending and spending and like I'm trying to save up money So I can't do that all the time So now that I've shifted my content a lot of those people that were following me purely for my thrifting content have kind of fallen off So what I think is the better option is not necessarily picking a niche that's super super specific But making something about yourself be the niche So in my case like yeah, I thrift but I just like home decor and I like budget home decor so thrifting can fall under that umbrella but it also doesn't necessarily have to be thrifting to do that right so a person that watches thrifting content might enjoy my content but maybe a person who doesn't care to thrift but wants to decorate their home on a budget would still be interested in my content so I think that my niche now if I were to call it that is not just thrifting specifically it's just more like my style of home decor and maybe home decor that still is kind of on a budget and again you don't have to know that as soon as you start like you don't have to know like i'm gonna do budget home decor videos and that's it you can play around and figure out and see what works for you it's taking me over a year to kind of figure out what my niche really is right so yes it is important to a certain degree but i also don't think that you should niche down so much that if you ever want to post any other video it's gonna do poorly because people are not interested in that coming from you the next thing that i learned that i wish that i had dedicated more time to was thumbnails Thumbnails are so important. I had no idea really how important they would be until way too late into my journey. <laughs> but thumbnails are really important. Your thumbnail is basically the first exposure that anybody gets to your video. Before they even watch, they have to even click on your video. So that's where your thumbnail and obviously your title as well are important. So I don't really know what the magic formula is for thumbnails. I'm still trying to figure it out for myself. But my best advice is if you look at your thumbnail, ask yourself, would I click on this video? And if you wouldn't, click on it then it's probably not good enough so at that point you can try to kind of adjust it to make it more like captivating and like eye candy so that someone would be like whoa what's that and click on it now talking about like picking up on patterns and seeing what videos start doing well don't only create content that does well 
I think that you should make the type of content that you like because at the beginning especially nobody's watching your videos nobody's clicking on them and it gets discouraging so you want to put the content out there that you enjoy making you don't want to put out a video that you had a really crappy time filming or crappy time editing and then you put it out there and one person watches it and that's it right like you want to feel good about the videos that you put out there so that even if nobody watches them you watch them and you feel good about them so if you're only posting videos that you you think are going to do well it's a surefire way to get burnt out so you definitely don't want to do that make the videos that you enjoy making first and foremost and if the videos that you enjoy making maybe don't pull in a huge crowd then you can also alternate so let's say if you post two videos a week one can be one that you know does well with your audience and another can be one that's for you that you just enjoy making or if you do like only one video per week you can alternate weeks but definitely focus on content that you like to make because like i said at the beginning if nobody watches it like you need to feel good about the content that you're making regardless of whether people are watching it or not and of course along with that don't focus too much on analytics so at the beginning it can be so discouraging that you see your video and like one person sees it two people see it and like that's it so don't focus on it all the time but still take a look every once in a while at your analytics and you can see what type of stuff you can focus on so for example what's your click-through rate or how long are people watching your videos for right all of those things can give you clues to see how you can improve your videos so that people stay on and watch longer so that you can rack up your watch time gain more subscribers and eventually get to your goal of monetization another thing act like a big account but don't <laughs> so what i mean by that is act like you're already a big account like be confident in who you are and in your personality and in your editing style and all of that but also understand that you're not a big account so some of the same things don't apply to you so for example there's a lot of big accounts that they can basically post any anything they want and their audience is going to watch you can't do that you have to have a good thumbnail you have to have a good title for people to want to watch remember people don't know who you are so basically you want them to stumble across your video watch it enjoy it and at that point follow along so you can't really have like a hundred subscribers and do a q a because that's not a searchable video people are not going to click on that unless they know you so you're limiting yourself already to only the 100 people who are subscribed to you and all 100 of them might not watch it so you can't just post what Whatever and expect it to do well as a small account that's what i mean but you still have to have confidence and hope that you're going to be a big account and something that goes along with that is always be ready to blow up <laughs> and by that i mean you never know what video is going to do well so every time you post a video it could be that one and maybe you never blow up maybe you just have consistent growth all the time but you need to be ready to be a big account even when you're a small account so what do i mean by that once you're monetized then what you need to have a plan right so like are are you going to continue posting once a week or maybe you were posting once a month and now you can start posting twice a month you have to think about those things like once you're monetized you can actually start making money off of it right so maybe your mindset is going to change a little bit and that's okay i'm not saying to change your videos completely because you definitely don't want to do that because then the audience you already have is going to be like what the heck are they doing now <laughs> so you still want to be consistent in like your style your personality whatever but definitely think about those things like now i'm monetized so these videos have to be better they have to be more attractive and all of that stuff but also not specific to youtube monetization but you want to have other income streams ready so brands start reaching out to you really early on even when i was at like 200 subs brands were already reaching out to me to give me free things you want to be ready for that to happen at some point so maybe you also want to set up a media kit maybe eventually you want to have sponsorships for your youtube videos you have to be prepared to have that mentality basically and be prepared that if tomorrow your video blows up you know what to do I also mentioned Instagram earlier. At first, I was only really posting on YouTube and maybe occasionally posting on Instagram, but definitely it helps to have another platform, whether that be Instagram or Pinterest or whatever else, to promote your videos because it's not enough that you just put your videos out into the YouTube void and then forget about them. You want people to know about them. So the best way is if you already have a following on your Instagram or if you want to post your thumbnails on Pinterest, like have some way that people can find your videos that is not just you. YouTube. 
your monetization journey it really depends on person to person mine only took 10 months which i thought was very little time but i've seen other people that get monetized in a couple of months right maybe one of their videos does really really well so there's no like shortcut to getting monetized faster you just need to work hard on your content and make sure that people would want to click it so my best advice would be focus on your title and use like keywords or things that are more attractive focus on making your thumbnails attractive as well really put yourself out of your body and be like if i was a random person would i click on this video and i know it sounds harsh to be like oh like i wouldn't even click on my own video but i would look at my own thumbnails like that and i would look at it and be like would i click on this video and i would be like no <laughs> so be realistic especially at the beginning you want people who don't know you don't know anything about you they have no reason to click on you so you need to give them a reason to click so that's why your thumbnail and your title are so important and that's why you need to be critical of yourself as well to make them click another thing that's super important is obviously the content of the video itself if you have an intro that's like two minutes long nobody's gonna stick around for that so keep your intro super short maybe not an intro at all just get straight into it you basically have to think about the audience right like what are they coming into this video for and think about it yourself too like if i went into this video what would i want to see right away so definitely the first couple of seconds are the most important of your video so use them very wisely don't waste them on blabbering and asking people to subscribe like they don't know who you are and they don't care like as harsh as it sounds they don't care you have to make them care by putting out a good video right so definitely use those first couple of seconds very wisely but i'm having such a good time making these videos like these are videos that i desperately wanted when i started out i really wanted to know other people's experience how many like subscribers they had at what points right to kind of see like how growth works and how long it was going to potentially take me to get monetized it definitely depends but i hope that some of this advice was helpful again i don't mean to be harsh i just want to be realistic with you all which you know i always am and it's a lot of hard work like youtube is not easy it's a lot a lot of work <laughs> so i definitely think you need to like it and you need to create videos more for yourself than anyone else especially at the beginning so make the videos that you would want to see but also make them so that other people will want to see them if that makes sense but if there are any other questions about being a content creator that you would want to know or getting started i know a couple of people have reached out to me on instagram about a media kit so i'll probably make a video about that in the future of like reaching out to brands and all of that i'm still navigating it myself <laughs> so i'm still trying to figure it out but once i feel a little bit more confident about it i will definitely share that with you all but if you do have any other questions or ideas for other videos definitely let me know and i would love to help you all out but that is all for now i will see you all very soon in another video bye